All right, guys, we are live from the balcony of my apartment. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some bass fishing. We're going to take the ultralight out. We're going to throw some ultralight crankbaits, throw them into the barracks, hopefully hook up on some biggins. Yeah, we'll see y'all out there. Moving, boy. Oh, there we go. There we go. We're on, baby. We're on. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. It's gonna come up right here. Thank you. That is a bass. Yep. Can you take a picture? Yeah, let me get the hook out of him real quick. Guys, that is a toad. That is a big bass. Jesus. Holy moly. Look at that bass. Guys, look at that bass. Look at this bass. That is a toad. It's a bass. I'm gonna weigh it real quick. Here we go. That's it. Three, three point three. Three pounds. Hey, do y'all mind taking a picture? Can y'all take a picture? You wanna take it for me? Yeah? Pretty sure. Oh, got it. You're good. <laughs> nice little three pounder. Open your eyes. <laughs> no. Okay, thank you. Cool. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Fat tummy. I was using a crankbait. Are you? Yes. No, that's why I came right here because there's no weeds right here. Yeah, I was using crankbait last weekend. Oh, let's get out of there. Oh, I want to get this up. There you go. Cause I don't want them. I don't want to eat them. Let them go. Let them get bigger. Come on, one more bite wouldn't hurt. Let me get one more fish on here. And there's apartment complexes right here. And one of these apartment complexes has their dog on the, uh, <laughs> on the balcony. <laughs> and this fool is out there just chasing his tail. And what makes it even funnier is he's chasing his tail and he's wearing one of those cones like around his head, I guess so he doesn't bite himself or whatever they're for, so he doesn't lick himself. Dude, he is chasing his tail and he is determined. There has to be one more. Come get your hit. Oh, with that noise coming out of there. Let's throw over there. 
heard like something crazy loud just over here. I don't know if it was just something from the wind, like clashing into something else. Or what that was, but let's throw the crank over here. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Ooh. Ooh, he's a good size one. Oh, he's pulling drag. He's a good one. He's a good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we got him right here. Go, got the hook out. Got you another one right here. His poor lip looks like it's ripped. You can see right there. His lip is ripped. Small bass. Give me a nice little fight though. He was pulling drag. Um, I've learned. I've learned already from like past mistakes before. Like when there's normally like a little fish hanging around right here. And in the past, I've had my drag too tight and I've lost. So I'm glad I have my drag looser. Cause like even though he's not that big just like the instant impact of like your line almost being out of the water with the bite can sometimes really throw off the uh tension and bust your line but yeah nice little bass let's get him back in there there he goes all right guys so i'm not sponsored but i do want to show y'all of course i'm not sponsored <laughs> uh this is h2o academy brand ultra light crankbait this is what I was using out there. This is what was getting it done. So yeah, go cop yourself some of these, man. Throw them out there and catch some big ones. Anyways, guys, I appreciate y'all watching the video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Till next time, it's been your boy J-May, and I'm out.